Well, hello there, boys and girls. Are you ready for some karting content? You better be, because I have just that for you today. This is a race from a Bulgarian amateur karting championship on my favorite track, Krasna Pulana. The starting grid was determined by reversing the championship order and that meant I had to start P9 out of 11. This is the first of two heats for me and it's a flying start. Let's see how we do. Whoa! What a start by Krasi there, passing us on the left. He got the timing exactly right and is already up like six positions or something. I don't know. I'll try to follow him. Come on, dude, move it. Ain't got all day. Another two positions in the back. Come on, let's go get some more. Next up is Krasi. He had a great start, but he's heavier than us, so we should have him on the straight. Okay, just three more to go. It's only lap two and we've already caught up with the leaders, come on. Oh, that's it? I'm on the inside, he has to leave me space. Yes, get in there, outstanding. Before the end of lap 2, I'm already in first place. From here on to the end, it's all about maintaining first and extending the gap. And that's just what I did. We skip ahead to lap number 13, the final one. I was able to pull a gap to Lugo in P2 and comfortably take the win. Now for some reason, he didn't really like that and resorted to physical violence. But what does he know anyway? Excellent, that was a perfect start of the day. A win in heat one. If the second heat goes the same way, I'll probably win the event. Heat number two now, this will decide the overall finishing quarter of the race. There was another driver, Ilan, who won both of his heats, so in order to finish above him, I have to win both my heats as well and I'll be declared a winner because I'm about 10 kilos heavier. Let's see how it goes. Okay, we've survived turn one. That's a good start. Level 
a couple of sneaky moves into the S section and we're on the back of P4. Boom, we got P4. Almost crashed into him, but it's okay. Can we get P3 now? Awesome job. In just one lap, we're already at the back of the leaders. Let's catch them. I can smell the win already. I gave him a bump to get closer to the guy in first, but Lugo was feeling charitable that day and decided to donate P2 to me. Wow, what a nice guy. Thank you, man. I won't forget it. This is it now. That's the lead in front of us. It's only a matter of time before we can make a move. Am I close enough here? Can I go for the move? Mm, no, not quite. But on the exit, I'm able to carry more speed and get alongside him. He's pointing me through on the next corner. Fair play to him. That's it. We've got the lead. Now from here on, I had clear air in front of me, I managed to build a sizable gap and was comfortably leading the race. I could already taste the champagne, as they say. However, we jumped to lap 9, a couple of laps from the end, when things began to unfold. The weather forecast predicted rain, but up until this point there was none. Keyword was, because on lap 9 it started lightly drizzling. So I thought, okay, no problem, I've got some experience in the rain, heck, we had some rain in the last video, right? And just like that we take the win in the... So we won the previous race, this one shouldn't be a problem, right? Wrong. As it turned out, the front and the back tires on a lot of the cards were different. Why is that important? Because they provide different grip levels, and that's especially noticeable in the wet. So what's the end result? The front end of the cart would hold and give you a false sense of security, while the rear would lose grip much sooner and suddenly begin to swipe. This meant that it was much harder to judge your braking and ac accelerating out of the turns. And guess who was driving one of those mixed tire carts? Yep, yours truly. As a result, two laps from the end, I have Lugo right on my back. And do you care to guess what kind of cart he's driving? Right again, his cart tires are all the same. Lovely. I 
make a mistake in the DS section and he's able to do the overtake on the inside no less, having much better traction. So right here I go into full kamikaze mode, I'll do everything in my power to stop him. What? Can you believe it? We both spin off at the same time. And he's just about able to get going quicker and close the door on us. God dang it. With just one lap to go, my hopes and dreams were slowly disappearing into the distance as I struggled for grip on every corner. You can see how big a gap he's able to pull in just a few turns. I went for some bonus style points for off-roading here, but the race directors weren't too impressed. We've got a guy facing the wrong way, almost crashed into him. Almost crashed into the tires myself, but just missed them. Another guy on the wall waiting for his insurance company to register the accident. As we round the final corners of this race, which started brilliantly but turned into a soaking nightmare right at the end. What a disappointment. Here's a picture of that miserable moment, so I make sure not to forget it. There's the checkered flag. We come home in P2 for this race and P2 for the day overall. No one to blame really but the gods of rain, who can be generous but also cruel. They give it and they take it away. Oh well, that's motorsport for you. Here's a picture from the podium. It was a hard break for us, but a well deserved first place for Ilan as he drove perfectly that day. That's it for this video, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.